working at Erie is quite a, 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 an intense experience. So it's, and, 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 and some colleagues wonder how I've been able to manage this sort of life work balance. And I think that is extremely important that anybody that comes to work at Erie maintains a good balance between their work and, and their social life. And I also intensely believe it's very important to have a private life. And I remember when I came to Erie in 91 and discussing with the then Director General, Dr. Klaus Lampe, I said, um, eight to five, I'm Aries. After, fi after five o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon, sorry, after five o'clock in the afternoon and before eight o'clock in the morning, that's my time. And I share my time with the Institute on, on my terms and, and, and have maintained that over the, the time I've been here and, and, and have kept a private life, uh, which I think is, is also, you know, kept this, this balance very important. So what to do? Well, I had never thought in my life that I would ever go scuba diving, uh, but it was clear that you know, with the coast so close, we would go down and, and have a look. And I'd never actually been snorkeling before I came to the Philippines. And my first experience of snorkeling, I thought, this is wonderful. I don't need to do anything else. I'll just snorkel for the rest of my time. But then Hannah took a dive course, and in the early 90s, there were large groups of staff that were taking the dive course together. And so in 93, I thought, well, I'll give this a try. And I haven't looked back. And uh, in just a week or so's time, I shall complete my 355th dive at Anilau. I've been diving there for 17 years. Uh, and uh, it's been a tremendous experience. Uh, I don't think I shall dive again unless I'm on holiday somewhere. I, it's not something I should do in the UK. It's too cold. Uh, 